Okay. <clears throat> hey, Faraday. Yep. More spoops. I got, uh, I got stuff going on later tonight and this weekend, so I figured I would stream... ...stream now rather than later. Um... Alright, just making sure everything... Everything's squared away here, best I can. These damn VR streams. Always a pain. I did you. <gasps> okay. Oh, man. Today was one of those days where... There's a super... It was super windy. Out and about. Hey, Aiden, good to see you. Uh, it was super windy out, so for half of my workout ride, super easy, and then the other way back, just like, oh god, nothing works. Uh, yeah, streaming, <laughs> exactly. Streaming itself is a hassle, and then there's so many more moving parts of the VR streams that it, ugh. Luckily, I have it, I have a checklist that I just follow now, and I figured out how to do it. Um, and even worse is, uh... Even worse is streaming VR, um, VR simulation stuff, which I'm probably going to get back into in like a month or so. Hey, thanks, Sid, and I appreciate it. I got, uh, got working on, working on those gains. We're getting there. Um, uh, yeah, debugging VR. Like, luckily it's, it's for the most part pretty stable. Um, like with, with modern stuff, the... The real pain period for VR was like late 2017, early 2018 or so, kind of when when Oculus um, added their own competing API to stuff. So you had OpenVR and then OpenXR, and like some things used both or either, and then people started transitioning to just OpenXR, and then that broke everything else and. Uh, it was it was it was a pain, um, but it's it's working fine for the most part now. Um, so let's hop into it. Seventh guest VR part three. Three hours in, um, I've completed like six six rooms or so of the uh, of the mansion. So I think probably a third. I want to say I'm probably a third of the way through the game, at least according to the the statistics thing. That's on the uh, on the page. Um, let's hop into it here. Let me get the my headset on. And your host PC has stopped responding. Please restart Steam VR. Fantastic. Great. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hold on. Exit. Switch to it, my headset is saying switch to controllers. I'm literally holding my controllers. <laughs> All right, I gotta reconnect to my PC. Oh, geez. Okay. All right. I know you guys can't see anything, by the way. This is. We are. Oh God. Okay. Okay. I'm getting capture. Okay. All right. I'm launching Seventh Guest. I need to make sure that there's no taskbar on stream here in a second. Okay, I'm seeing logos. Okay. Okay. <sighs> VR, huh? Puzzles are contained to a single room. Okay. So that probably... Um, addresses a concern that I had specifically with the room that I'm in now once we get into the game here. Um, I'm in the kitchen area, and there's a storage area connected to the kitchen. Welcome to my house. Why am I facing this way? <laughs> Why am I over here now? This this is not... Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm clearly not standing in the right spot. Uh, Alright. I love VR games, you guys. Okay, I'm assuming you guys can hear 
audio. I can see stuff happening in the audio monitor over there, so I think we're good on that. I might be too tall again. Okay, I think this is this is fine. Okay. Alright, so we are in the kitchen area. So this one it seems in order to solve the puzzle of the kitchen, we have to make this recipe here inside this pot. Um, so if we do that, that heats up the pot, and that puts out the pot, even though it's clearly still bubbling a little bit. Um, so I already found the two onions there. The red pepper is in here, up here. So in order to get to that, I have to solve a weight puzzle, it looks like. Um, and then it also wants some ground meat, whatever meat recipe, that is. Huh? Now, where are those ingredients? Shut up, ghost. Um, so there's ground up meat, and it looks like I can't grind up the meat unless it is cylindrical shaped. Uh, even though it's just fucking ground meat, you could just, just, just do this and put it in the grinder. Well, this. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but no, we have to we have to make a perfect cylinder of meat or else the game's not going to let us. It needs to be a certain shape. But why though? It's a it's a grinder. Jesus Christ. So that that's another puzzle. And then over here is the wine puzzle to to get to that apparently. I think that's the wine that we need. Um 15 So I think, I think this is a magic square, is probably what this type of puzzle is, where each direction has to add up to, um, a certain, certain number. Like it's gotta be seven, 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 or something, something like that. That's, that's how magic squares work. Um, so it looks like I need to swap around these bottles. Uh, and it looks like 15 is probably the number I'm going for across, across these. Um, so like 9 plus 4, 13 plus 2 is 15. So that's 15 and 15. So we need 15 that way, 15 that way. I'm not sure about diagonal. Um... So we got a 2 to work with here, a 9, an 8, a 7, and another 9. Um, okay. So math problems, not really my thing. I'm not a math guy. So bear with me on this. <laughs> so we gotta get to 15, so that's 10 plus 7, that's not gonna work. Um, so we need a lower number, so that's 2. So like nine. That's also a nine. So whatever this has got to be, it's it's going to be the same same one in either of these. Um. But are we missing some here? Ah, there's there's a, a four. Okay. Um. Okay. So nine, nine two four. I need another four up here. That's 15. Hey, Chai Chi. Um. Okay. All right, let's, let's back up here. So this, this, I'm actually not sure if that's a six or a nine, by the way. Like, 
Because if you... If you do that, that's a six. Okay, never mind. That's, that's a nine. Never mind. And that's also a nine. Okay. That makes more sense. Um... Okay, so the next question is... Are there any other wine bottles around here? Because it, it feels to me like we are potentially missing another one. Uh, so that, that loading screen tip said all of the puzzles are contained in... They're self-contained in their own rooms. So I likely don't have to look anywhere else for another wine bottle. And just looking around, I don't really see another one. So I can't open the chest. That's the weight puzzle. That's cans, a jar. Another jar. Okay, so nothing in there. So it looks like we got what we got. Okay, I can't open the door. I already checked in here. There was a... Uh, the handle for the meat grinder was inside there, and nothing else. Scale... Okay, so it looks like we have everything we need to do this. Like, it, it feels like if I solve the sides first, then it will solve the... Um, like, maybe, maybe these pop open and there's more bottles in there or something. Um, 9, 15. So that's 8. I need uh, a 9 in the middle. So I'm assuming... I have to solve all of these. 4, 3, 7. So I need an 8. in here. So then we have four bottles left. So we have a nine, a seven, a two, and a four. Um, nine, four, thirteen. So this, that solves that, but then two, four, and seven doesn't, oh jeez. Uh. This, this game's not very good about letting you pick up stuff off the ground. <laughs> Give me that. There's the red wine I need. <laughs> I know, right? We're soft locked now. Uh... Like, maybe, maybe the ones off to the side are just irrelevant. But the problem is, even with these, I'm just, I'm just dumb, by the way. This is, this is me and my math struggles. The struggles are very, very real here. Um, so if I put four, four there, remove that. Okay, seven, 13, or 11, 15. So 15 across. We need another four down here in order to make that work, but that's... we don't have another four. Oh man, I hate these kinds of puzzles. And if I put a... if I put the nine there and a two here... The wine bottles all have numbers on them. Oh my god. This, the frequency of the ghosts backseating you is way too high in this game. 
Cause like I don't think I don't think that's gonna work. Alright, hello? So the, the problem with... So I'm still not sure if I need to put something in the... in these side ones. Um... Because I don't think this is solvable otherwise. You know what? We'll we'll leave this one for now. This this might be the one where I use a hint token on. I've been trying to go the whole game without using a hint token. That might be the one that I have to. <laughs> okay, let me reposition myself here. Okay, so for this puzzle, to be in the shape of holy cinnamon. shit, ghost! Shut like up. <laughs> sausage. Oh my god. Okay, that's as close as I can get to it, but I got to step forward here, so. So it looks like... Oh, that's the first time that has done that. Okay, well, we found one configuration. Okay. Love the sounds that this puzzle makes. All right. <laughs> Okay, so I can't remove the pieces that are already on there, so that just means they're they're correctly positioned. Okay, this this clearly goes down here at the bottom. Yeah, okay. All right. This puzzle would be would be way harder if that didn't clip into position there. <laughs> All right. We have our meat cylinder now. Okay. Why why did this have to be a cylinder? You could have just jammed it in there. God. Stupid. Stupid puzzle. <laughs> All right. We got our big ass meatball. Okay, so we still need the wine, the number 15 wine and the pepper. So we got two math problems here to solve. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> My nemesis, math problems. <sighs> God. Well, like, the way that you make ground beef or any ground meat is that you just take a piece of meat and you, you cut it up into small pieces and then you feed it in here and, <laughs> and do that. It doesn't have to be in a cylinder. Like, God. Stupid. I hate it. I hate it. Ugh, okay. Alrighty, so it looks like we need to get the weights so that all three of these are in the... that zone there. The so four, five, six... So this needs a significantly more weight. This needs a little bit more. So if we put a... Or onto there. Okay. Take off a six, put on a three. All 
I logicked the shit out of that puzzle. And was definitely not just moving stuff around until it worked. All right, here we go. We have our, our dirty ass pepper here. Okay. A little bit of spice will give it more flavor. Like what even is this supposed to be? Yeah, I don't even, I don't even know what this is. Like the two onions, okay. Ground beef. Like it, if you put in tomatoes or something, then it would be a good, a good sauce, like a pasta sauce. This this is actually kind of close to the sauce that I make. I I don't use wine, but I use uh, tomato, um, garlic, onion, ground up spices, eighty percent ground beef, um, and not much else really. <laughs> And that's the that's the sauce that I make, a big batch of every uh, every few weeks. Um. Okay. So now we gotta do this bullshit. All right. So I'm not doing this because I'm I'm stumped. I'm doing this because I want to see what the hint system looks like in this game. All right. Just just so we're clear, this isn't because I'm dumb. Definitely not because I'm dumb. Uh, <laughs> the meat tower. Okay, the wine rack. First hint, it's best to keep a level head and focus on a number instead. Well, okay. What do you bet, like, the hint is going to be like, hey, this is a magic square puzzle. All right, reveal next. Make sure all rows and columns add up to 15. Thanks, game. I know that this is a magic square puzzle. <laughs> uh, but I don't know if it, if all of them have to be like that, though, or just the center. Um, hold on. Did, did that say it costs 12? It costs 12... Oh, no, okay. It called, costs one. Solve for one coin. So it will literally solve it for you. <sighs> I don't think I'm at that point yet, but... We'll see. Sriracha. Interesting. Yeah, I like my, uh, my pasta sauce. Uh, sweet. And, like, not overpowering the noodles, kind of. Is is how I how I typically make it. I've been experimenting with with some cheaper, pre-made um, sauce bases with it from a different store because it's like half the price of getting it at, at the the normal grocery store, and it's not quite the same. So I'm trying to get this the spice ratio fixed to make it a little bit more tasty. Hmm. Yeah, and, and for the spice, I, I dump in um, some crushed red pepper that I'd normally put on pizza, but I even had to, I eat like two pizzas a year now. So so now I put it on my, my pasta sauce now. Oh yeah, that's true. Well, luckily dried stuff like that keeps pretty well if you if you order it from abroad but it's all over the place here in, in California. Uh, seven. Eight. Yeah. Okay. So like that, an, an eight there solves that. For sure. And then... 5 plus 3... So I was, I'm was i trying to figure out why these are blank, and I think it's just because there's one open spot there, and then that, that lets you figure out by inferring which one, which one is which, because this, these are unnecessary to solve those. Um, so 8... 
So a seven. A seven in the center with this <laughs> solves this. And no other number solves that. So it feels like this something here I am I'm messing up. And it, and it feels like I'm like one move away from, from getting it too, which is really annoying. Um, it, and it, it feels like I'm just missing, I'm missing a, a wine bottle, but I haven't seen any, <laughs> any extra ones. Like you'd, you'd think the, the hint, the hint that they give you would, would say something about their, like, there's three, three extra wine bottles or something. Um, cause like I can, I can solve the middle one if I move the ones from the, the left side and the right side. Ah, but again, I'm not sure if, if those have to be in there in order to solve this puzzle. I don't think so. Um, that's 15. 15. That's, that's 18. Fuck. There's, there's gotta be another bottle somewhere. There's gotta be another bottle. Because I don't see any other way that you could do this. And it's gotta be within arm's reach. Like, maybe I overlooked one in here? Yes, that's, that's just all that. There's, you can't open up the bottom part. This is... It's not a wine bottle. <sighs> and according to the loading screen... There wouldn't be one... In the storage room here. But I... Fuck it. I'm gonna check anyways. I wasn't... I wasn't looking for a wine bottle last time I came through here. So maybe there just happens to be one in here? But I think this was mostly like a tool shed. Okay. Okay, hold on. Did anyone else notice that there was a fucking spooky ghost? Right there. When I turned my head and when I turned away, it disappeared. <laughs> Am I going crazy? <laughs> I, I feel like that's happened multiple times in this already. Where... I'll turn a corner and there's a spooky ghost and I will I will look away and look back. I think there was. Ah, uh, okay. All right, so those are not wine bottles. I got to back up. Yeah, generally, for the most part, this game has not been scary. And I, I really hope they don't start jamming in jump scares at some point. Because <laughs> that would be, that would be kind of messed up. Okay, so I don't see any wine bottles here, so... Man... Fuck. So this is like a compound... compound puzzle for me. It's like, am I just dumb? Or did I miss a, uh, or did I miss a wine bottle? Uh, or both? Like, am I being gaslit by the game here? <laughs> I don't see any other wine bottles. Fuck. 
Like, so I can't open this. Not openable. So everything that's required for this is is here. Ah, God. I hate to do this, but fuck it. Fuck this puzzle. Fuck magic squares. What? I Didn't I do that? Didn't I do that already? <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I'm moving on. <laughs> we got our stupid ass wine. God. Math problems. Hate it. Get in there. Put Just the whole thing in. Now it's a proper brew. Oh boy, thanks! Damn you! Alright, where does this want me to stand? Right here, apparently. Stauf! What do you want? Show yourself! <gasps> Look at <Look> <gasps> Bring me the boy. Nice and clean. I think that we're meant to eat the Sioux. It's all the kitchen. Okay. All right. Storage room. I didn't see a puzzle in there. So I think we're going to the game room. We got Burden's bedroom and game room. Still can't do the attic. Yep. That makes sense. Okay. Alright. Any acts? See this! Right there! Right there! There it was! Right there! There's a fucking ghost right here. Just bide your time. You know when the moment is right. Like maybe it's when the ghosts talk, and then it spawns in a spooky. You can just move over there. Okay. Up to the game room. Oh, this house just gets under my skin. Stay calm, Hamilton. It's all in a loop. So, left of the staircase. Okay, let's go to the game room. Edward? Where are you? Jump scare? <gasps> oh, there's old <gasps> magic here. I'm sure of it. Old magics. <gasps> That's a pretty rad picture. That's creepy. <laughs> Genuinely creepy. <gasps> Alright, it's probably a hint coin in here. Yep. Professor! Alright. So that's the bedroom, this is the game room. Let's go to the game room. Time for some gaming. Alright. No pinball, huh? Uh, the madman's playroom. Mm. Well, there must be something here to explain all of this. Embittered, he started to resent all those sanctimonious townspeople. 
In desperation and out of spite, he turned to a life of crime. Driven out of town, he hid in the neighboring woods and robbed those who crossed his path at knife point. Dang. All alone during the cold winter nights, Stauf was surrounded by nothing but shadows creeping ever closer. All right. I've already seen this painting. Or there, there's a different version of that somewhere. <gasps> <gasps> Suddenly cat. Chest a cat. Now that's an improvement. They improved that picture. <gasps> it's the scream. Except... Pool table. There better be dogs playing poker in here. I'm going to be very disappointed. Just glancing around, I don't see it. <gasps> this this actually looks like a, a puzzle hint, probably. Okay. Or yeah, it's probably for this. Uh, okay, so the green green bottle. And I probably have to put those onto there. So I have to gather the bottles from around the room, probably for that. <gasps> those ducks. <gasps> Still no dogs playing poker. <gasps> that guy's got a turtle. On his head. Alright. This is... Lorbo. Tiddlywinks. Everybody's favorite game. <gasps> Professor! Chemistry outfit. <gasps> okay, that's... Anything that's, like, moving in these paintings is, is usually been a puzzle clue so far. Um, this is, this is one of the drinks for the other puzzle. <gasps> What's spooky about this? Oh, the stuff on the table. <laughs> yeah, that, that, yep, yeah, that's spooky. <gasps> okay, so let's grab this. Okay. I didn't immediately see the other... other ones. Okay. That's... I don't know if the position matters for that. Um... So we're looking for this one with the red bisected by a diagonal one, and then this is a green bottle with like a shield logo on the front. The so greenish, greenish blue, and then the red label. So I don't see. This might actually be Lost Souls Rum. That... that looks like that. Sure. That's gotta be that. Okay. So then we're just looking for the one on the table here. And which is gonna be somewhere out in the room, most likely. I don't see it on the bar. Oh, here it is. Here we go. Oop. Alright, what'd this do? It's a chess piece. Probably part of another one of Stop's Twisted Games. Okay. A chess puzzle, huh? It's gonna be just as much fun as a math puzzle, probably. Uh... Is there a chess set here? Over there. Nothing but queens. And a queen is lethal in any direction. Okay, so I don't know if there's another chess piece that I need to get before doing that, so we'll 
We will table that one for now. Ha 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 ha. Oh, jeez. So this probably tells you... Like, the f one ball goes there... Ooh, but the problem is... So that's probably one. That's probably two? Three... Four, maybe? Or I guess, like, what do we got here? We got a 12 ball, six, three, five, nine, two. And I'm not sure if there's... Just jam that in there. Or do you have to? Or do you have to darts? Hopefully they don't make you actually darts here. Alright, we got a Fez. Now we're a Fez. No, I cannot. Disappointing. Um Okay, so there's probably some sort of reasoning for this. So if I put this and then do that. And then two. Put that there. So then we have nine. Six, nine, twelve. I know, right? Like that was that was half of the fun of Half-Life Alex was wearing all the hats. Okay, so we got six, nine, five, and or what is this? Twelve. So I already did two, I did three. Okay, so that's probably five. That's probably six. Just based off of the, the line being five. So the, the notation for this is likely um, a dot for one's digit. And a line for five's digits. So six goes here. So nine is this. And that leaves 12 for this. Let's go. Another chess piece. Well, I see where this is going. Okay, and we're going to Chest Town. That's where this is going. So usually every room has like three puzzles. Three or four. So I might be missing one more puzzle before being able to do the chest puzzle. And that's like half of the puzzle in this game is finding the puzzles in the first place. Um... So we got a locked box up there. We have the... Uh, Alright, we can't grab that. We can't do that. Uh, that doesn't look like a puzzle. Fireplace does not appear to be a puzzle. So we solved the bar. This, the darts, could potentially be a puzzle. But I don't... I don't see anything here that... Oh, there's also... Okay, so there was, there was that, that lit up, and then there was this, the moon? Over here? Yeah, the moon lit up.
but um, that may or may not be a puzzle hint. Oh. Professor! So I think it's probably just this, uh, this chest puzzle then. So what does this want from me? So we have... So we have eight queens. But why though? Oh, okay. So I have to fill up this board with queens. Then. So that they don't... They aren't in attack range of each other. So if I put this here... Okay. So that I can't... They can't be diagonal and they can't be straight line from each other. Oh, shit. That doesn't work. Um... Yep. So I can't... I can't use the corners anymore. I don't know. This is... This is a little bit easier to visualize in VR, I guess. Um... So that doesn't work. That does. We'll put that there. Fuck. Alright, hold on. I gotta back up and move forward to get here. Um... That doesn't work. This... Does. Okay. Can we do anything... Along here? There, and then... I'm so close. This? This. This. No! Fuck! Uh... Okay, can I put anything... Uh. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. God damn it. I just tried to switch hands here. Alright. Fuck. Okay, so it can't be here, can't be here, can't be there, can't be there, can be here. Can't be there, can't be there, or there, or there, or there, or there, or there, or there. Very cool. So it feels like I need to shuffle some of these around a little bit. Oh man, I don't like this puzzle either. <laughs> So the, these two have to be there, it looks like. So it feels like the ones on the perimeter, I want to make as, as close to the middle as possible. So I think that's, that's probably how you want to start this off with, having it like that. And then you fill in the middle as best you can with those constraints in mind. No, oh, shit. Shit! Um...
Okay, so I can't do that. Can't do that or that. Or that. So it has to be... Nope, not that. Or that. Shit. So that... That kind of messes up the... I can't... I can't use that row. So I have... Three rows left. So if I can't put anything right here, then that means I've messed up something else somewhere. Um... Oh man. Oh man. Shit. God, this is tough. Something like that. And it would have to be like over here. Can't do that. So for this, this row this way, it can't be in any of these three just by default. So it would have to be in either here, here, here. Um, about here. So that, that kind of messes up this one here. But what if I move this one here? And then for this one... So that, that doesn't work along there. That doesn't work at that, that doesn't work at that. So let's do this set. Oh god. Fuck. <laughs> oh, I hate this. I hate this so much. Bruh, this puzzle. This hurts my brain, man. Uh, so I can't do that. Oh shit. No, no. Stop it. This, this is a little bit too fiddly. Holy shit. I can't change hands while doing this. Uh... So if I have to put one here... It can't be any of those. Pretty much have to... Fuck! So that... That moves that one. Okay, and if I put that there instead... So that won't work there. That won't work there. This will work here. We'll put that there for now. So there's two pieces left. I just have to make it work this direction. So that won't work. That won't work. That will work. That will work. Okay, so it's just this, this one right here. Nope, 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 nope. So I'd have to make it work here, but that's... I can't do that with my current setup. Shit! Okay, what if I move this one here? And then this one, you know, shit. Oh, 
I hate it. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully you you did it better than I am. Because this this one seems like a pretty standard logic puzzle, but uh, the problem is that I'm I'm locked into this this four four squares here because of how I positioned everything else. Uh, and it feels like there's a way to cleanly do this, but it feels like I just screwed up something. If I put that here instead, then I have room down here. So if I... So this this won't work because it interferes with this one. Um, if I do that and this... Oh, did I get it? Did I get it? I think I got it. So that's... that's clear. That's clear. That's clear. I think I got it, you guys. Let's go! Fuck yeah. Fuck your puzzle. Stupid chess. Thank you! Alright. Rotten luck! Here they all are. Check, wait. They're after a boy. <gasps> it's a sacrifice. Key. But to which door? The madman's playroom. The boy on the chessboard. I know him. Boy on the chessboard? I th that's probably Stauff. Probably. All right. I like the puzzles in this room, besides the chess one. But I eventually figured out the chess one. No final curtain call for the great temple. Not yet. All right. Burden's bedroom, right here. What do we got? I gotta back up again. Oh, that's... this is not creepy at all. All this just for me? Incredible! Incredible. I wonder if the rooms of the other guests are this fancy. Shadows surrounding Stauff started to call his name. They were his friends, they whispered. And then they entered his dreams. They showed him a beautiful doll. It seemed alive somehow, its gaze haunting. The next day, the image still festered in his mind, and he Bro. carved the small figure out of a dead branch. And he made the doll just as he saw it in his dream. Okay, that's the doll at the, the front of the house, then. On the front porch. The manipulative Martine Burden. 
I hate it that most of the mirrors in this game don't work. <laughs> Not be a jump scare. <gasps> eh. Er. All right. So we got Rose. We got Book. There's no. Uh, I didn't see a music box. The broken mirror. Usually there's a music box where Stout talks to you. Alright, this is definitely a puzzle. Okay. Alright, so that's probably the puzzle solution. Okay. Mixed bag. Although most of the main cast gave believable performances, the same cannot be said about the debuting Martine Burden playing the role of the seductive flapper Mitzi. Her performance can be summed up in a single word, wooden. But that's a disservice to wood, as I've seen more planks with more emotion. The soldiers' costumes are very realistic. Wow. Get wrecked. Uh... Oh, here it is. My dear Miss Burton, I'm so glad you could join us. The town is much richer now that you have returned, and a party would simply not be the same without your dazzling presence. But carefully, there is a mystery here for you to solve. This whole mansion is a puzzle filled with clues. But Miss Burton, Please, watch your step as nothing here is what it seems. This house has its own rules and it can be a cruel Oh jeez. Then they explode. It's all this okay. mystery and you obtain your heart's deepest desire. In the meantime, I remain your devoted patron, Henry Staff. Okay. Sure. All right. So is that the only active puzzle right now? So there's also this over here. Jewelry okay. box from me, Henry Stauff. You are quite the generous host. Okay. So I just need to arrange them in that pattern, I guess. Oh boy. Okay. So it appears you both have a donkey's intelligence with that of a pig. <laughs> They're both smarter than you, bro. Fuck out of here. I'm trying to figure out the puzzles. Okay, so it appears this puzzle and that one are the same. So, any adjacent. So, if I press on this upper left one, it changes that, but it also changes the adjacent ones. Um, so, it looks like this one down here I need to explode. So. Okay, so the purple ones explode. Okay, and that that also happened over there. So I was. I tested this on chimpanzees, but I'm afraid you're no top banana. Bro, please. <laughs> this this is almost mean that they. All right, hold on. Option. Is there anything in here for turning down? Video. Nope. They're they're always just gonna taunt you the whole time. That's that's great. Fantastic. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. 
so... Okay, so it looks like the... The red ones are the highest value ones. And then it's red, yellow, red, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then they explode. Okay. Red, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then nothing. Um... So I want to get... That one to blue, so that's fine. This... And that... Purple, okay. So now I want to move... This one... Okay, so those are correct now. That one, like that. Okay, so we got the top. The top half is now how we want it. So now... So it's red, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then gone. Um, so this one on the left here is two steps away. Green, blue purple um purple green. so i need to keep this one up here untouched completely so i cannot press this one and i can't press that one at all those two. So... It red, yellow, green, blue, purple. So if I get this one to purple... Like that, so that we're, we're done messing with that one. This one, we want to get it to, to disappear. Red, yellow, green, blue, purple. So the, the one, this red one on the right, we need it to change twice. And I can't press on it. Um, so the only way to get that to change without pressing the red one or itself is to press this one twice. So, one, two. Gorgeous. There we go. Perfect for a night out. Hey, got it. Okay, so we got a heart, and we put it into a mannequin, I guess. <gasps> oh my god. The floor tells them where to go, but it needs something extra. Okay, I think I think we need another heart. Now that that was a jump scare. <laughs> God, can I remove the heart? I can't. Uh, okay, so I probably have to solve this other one here first before I can do that. Um, okay, all right. Solid, solid progress here. My back is really hurting me, <laughs> so I think we'll call it a short. Uh, a short segment here of uh, seventh guest VR. This game's still really good, you guys. Oh, I still really enjoy this game, despite the chess puzzle. Oh boy. Okay. Well, I say that was a short stream, but that's over an hour. Over an hour progress. Oh man. Oh, streaming VR games is it takes a lot out of me though. <laughs> God. Uh, okay. All right. Solid progress in Seventh Guest VR. This game. Still really like it. Really good. I'll have to go swimming. Nice. I got in two and a half workouts today already. Plus this. So, oh man, I'm going to feel it tomorrow probably. Um, all right. As always, thank you for watching. 
I appreciate y'all rolling by. I'll see you next time. Take care. Yeah, that wine puzzle, though. <laughs>